Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of EXE Reacts. So, uh, today, I am very happy, I am so happy for this. We only get these days a few months, right? I'm looking at the, I'm looking at my face, this, this thing, so that's why my eyes are not on the camera. I've said that many times in past, past videos. Alright, this direct doesn't start for another seven-ish minutes, so we get to talk about some stuff. As, as you can see, this is a live video, so I hope my... I'm going to do what I did for E3, and that is turn the volume to, like, here, and just sit like this the entire time. Except my... except I will be, like, right here, so... So, yeah... I didn't react to the uh, February Direct, I believe, because due to technical issues doing these, I don't even know what installment of EXT reacts, so I'm ready. I even have a bingo card, that's right. I uh, don't do these for directs, but you can take a solid good look at the camera quality there, saying, EXT show, that's some bad quality. We got SNES games on Switch Online. People want that. Uh, as of right now, I don't have enough space on my Switch. So, Ellie had to delete the NES ones. I don't play them anyway, but... Is there like camera lag? Yeah, that's kind of normal with these. Uh, town. Game Freak's Town. Get it? The game town that I don't think has an official name yet. Damon X Machina? Did I say it right? Hopefully I did. Uh, this, Link's Awakening, Dragon Quest XI, and uh, I think that's it, and the Switch Lite. They're pretty much gonna, if these are in here, they're pretty much probably, they're probably gonna say, hey, these games and system, they're coming out in a few weeks, so uh, if you forgot, uh, go buy them. Um, Amiibo, because you never can be, you, you're never too sure. Maybe they'll just announce Amiibos are coming in the next few months or something like that. Luigi's Mansion 3 and Pokemon Sword and Shield, as you can, as you can almost see, as you can see, like right under my right, like right, as like right is he, right there. Oh, there we go. That was a uh, Vine Sauce Vinny. A streamer you should go watch so yeah these games right here they're gonna react they're mostly gonna talk about hopefully the whole directs not around them because we pretty much know everything about sword and shield and luigi's mansion let's finish this up uh, mario odyssey 2 it's time maybe i mean breath of the wild 2 but yeah breath of the wild 2 is on here as well you never be too you never be too overwatch that's pretty much confirmed but pikmin 4 Mario Party, Ice Climbers, a Wario game of some kind, FNAF, yeah, I said it, I want FNAF on the Switch. He, Scott literally said he was working on console ports, so, I don't know if it's just the first game or all four games plus World and Sister Location and Pizza Simulator, who knows. Uh, Smash Bros, Smash Bros actually takes up two spots. One being just Smash, and one for for one for being the new character. Hopefully they don't start out with the new character. I kind of want to, even if they announce a new character, which they will probably maybe will, I want it to be kind of like Isabel at the very slap end. What else is on here? Kirby. You can never be too sure for that one. As well. I don't know how many times I've said that. I would, yeah, I just said Kirby. Uh, I, what time is it? Oh, crap. Sorry for that. I leave. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. The vine sauces. Well, how long was I paused? I think I just paused. So, anywho. That's how long have I been paused for? I hope I got that on film. Yeah, we're filming right now, so. If I was paused, I probably wasn't. I don't think I need to. It's just a bingo card. With the usuals, you know, Smash, and ports, and sequels, and 
already announced stuff. Speaking of which, I already got my water and I couldn't find any food, so um, I can kind of say this is pizza in a bag too. Except it's not, because it's just pepperonis, that's all. Trust me, pizza in a bag too will happen. Whenever. <laughs> so, when this video goes live, the direct will be over. So, prepare your asses for a long video. Prepare your rice holes. Stuff is about to go down in one minute. <laughs> mm, it should start any minute now. What are we gonna what are we gonna lead off with? What are the what do you think they're gonna start with? Oh, any any freaking minute now. Any minute now they should be playing. Actually no, they still have one minute. Sorry for my lead lead charging my phone so my freaking camera's like right down here, so if I'm using this hand, it's lead my hand's covering the camera, so it's going! <gasps> Oh. New intro. Let's go. Overwatch. They're leading off with Overwatch. This is leaked like a week ago already, so. It's pretty much confirmed. Which means once again I have to freaking keep the volume really low in order for you guys if you ever watch. Oh, they did confirm it. It was next month. Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please yes. take a look. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. It's a new style. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? Guess we should expect some mummies. Harsh sands and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco Whoa. floor, a pirate themed restaurant. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, mm. step right up They're to this right. all new They're attraction, mode. Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. What? See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. Get a load of this new free to start. Dude, I was right! Combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Super Kirby Clash, Take yeah. Take quests in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. 
That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right <laughs> jobs <laughs> for the <laughs> job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless, or even play online. Online, oh yeah. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Hey. And remember, it's free to start too. It's free to that cool. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. After oh. 25 years, like fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, yeah, Trials of Mana. This game. That's how I know that. From six yeah, different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica oh, and die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world April of Trials of Mana right. on April 24th. I'm a while with my camera. Yeah, later. Because what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberton vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The oh, fate of the crew game? remains unknown. Party? As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Jeez, Watch to Nintendo. turn back time Kids could and be witness watching each this. soul's last moment. You bastard baby. What? Exactly what I give you! Explore the ship. Mature games, alrighty. Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Nintendo knows, man. Without you, the true tale will never be told. It's like South Park all over again. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. This is like an interesting plot for the game. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Oh, already. There's a small town out town. there with a big secret. What the frick? Little town Never leave hero town. already. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. Like gonna, to defend the townspeople, like gonna make a whole one boy named Axe will sometimes. stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of the these battles, like, you must give know when to use them. Way, give a banjo. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. Dude, wait. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. What? Undertale creator? Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October oh, 16th. Oh, shoot, comes out this year. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. October 16th, that's next month as well. Fall is coming to Super ah. Smash Bros. Ultimate. We can finally go. confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Ooh. Banjo and Kazooie. And the release date is... Today. Ah. After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. 
Oh my complete. god! The video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Really? To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. But first... Oh! A new character! <laughs> new character! Oh! Who is it? It's Terry. It's Terry, isn't it? Huh? Terry? It's Terry. It's Terry. Neo Geo. It's Terry! It's Terry! Yes! It's, it's Terry! Maybe. Terry! It's Terry! It's Terry! Dang it. Wait. Wait, what? Who the, who the heck is it? Terry! Terry? I don't think that's Terry. Oh, they're trying to get it. Oh, this is the other. gonna put in Waluigi. No, that's. Who's it gonna go to? It's Terry. My man, it's Terry. It's Terry. Terry? Terry. 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 It's Terry! Come on. I was right! Now in development. Not even gameplay? Fatal Fury, alrighty. November! Oh. That's gonna be a birthday gift, dude. It's a freaking birthday gift. So. Terry Bogard from Fatal that Fury render, is joining the battle. It. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? <gasps> no way! We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle Yo. isn't over yet. Yo! <gasps> How many do you think there's gonna be? So, what do you think? Yes! Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh my god! It's about time to Link's Awakening! In The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast oh approaching. God. All thoughts will be talked You'll about. You'll need some hey, strange to watch the Banjo, so this is probably going to be like an hour long. Face a video. series of puzzling tasks and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. And save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character <laughs> from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda oh, Link's cool. Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. That's Area 51 raid day. You know the hero's might from what Super Smash Frick? Brothers Ultimate. Like, now join his adventure. Dude. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive I Age Definitive Edition, this. is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, Ooh. including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance oh, oh. of party members. An RPG giant draws near. 
<laughs> Dragon Quest 11 S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition Journeys on to Nintendo Switch September 27th. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? I thought that was then say hello for a to Tokyo. <laughs> The okay. world's the Fire Emblem Yo, that's a Wii U port. Crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. I believe so. That's a Fire. That's a Wii U port. The story port. takes place in modern-day Tokyo. I remember that. Where creative energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Krom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep okay, turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE January. Encore releases Alrighty. on January 17th. You can pre-purchase the game later today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. It all begins again when FBI game. agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an In old fact, serial killer she... case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also Amiga takes us back there, right? to New Orleans yeah, we can count that 14 years ago. Oh. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. Zach, like the journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo mm. Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop as Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Oh, okay. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Divinity. Switch. Check it out. What's the new song from that? I, I read a few 4chan leaks a few hours ago at, at, when I was at school, but... Was true. We could really be getting a Pikmin announcement, like a Pikmin 3 DX or something. Pikmin will be in here if that week is true, so. Oh, today. <laughs> and now for a message from Bethesda. Oh. Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games Fallout? on Nintendo 64. Other... Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person mm -hmm. shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. What? For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. I may, have to, I may play this one, actually. I don't know. I like to Doom 64 the will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Oh, November 22nd already. What the frick? Doom 64? Brand new IP from developer Hi-Rez Studios, Rogue Company. Oh, to new most IP. of the world, 
rogue, rogue company is a rumor at best, but its that. operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch 20. in 2020. Alrighty, that actually kind of looks like, well, like a fun game, actually. How's it going? Great. Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series. Ah, Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. What is there we have to more information to share that will shed new light here? on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. I will. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter yeah, new Pokemon direct, we're gonna go and meet new people so you throughout your adventure. Yeah, this video may be an hour Today, long, but... we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Features? First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets Maybe, you pick you your outfit. This? this time, it's not just Maybe tops and bottoms, I don't, I don't play but a wide anymore. variety, including outerwear and gloves. Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. Oh, darn it. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime in Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Ooh, that's cool. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other game, players at the camp. Man. We definitely recommend oh, interacting guy. with another Quag player's Pokemon. <laughs> Third, curry on rice. Pokemon that's Camp nice. is also a great place to cook Ooh, up a dish that quest? is very popular in the Gala region. <laughs> curry on rice. How your curry turns out, and what type it is, ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types, and each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. I the goal try that. is to master <laughs> the art of good. curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, We'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala oh. region. First is Poltegeist. Poltegeist? Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. Ditto. This ghost-type Pokemon <laughs> also has a special <laughs> ability called Probably. Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. Cramorant? This flying and water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability. Gulp Missile. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch Three November 15th. Oh, <laughs> well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Gala region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online mm -hmm. memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. <laughs> and now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. 
SNES games. It's Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety Hell of classic yeah, Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. I know, I have an SNES classic, but... There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX, which will the be available to true. play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local I thought that was me and Bean Machine for a minute. <laughs> poyo, poyo. Or even play together online. What? Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Hey. Are we done with NES games now? Here are the first games we plan to release. Pilot Wings. Oh, what is that? All Let's 20 of the games right you there. see on screen will launch tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Yeah, we're gonna do this again. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members. Like so please enjoy them at no additional charge. I joined online. Oh, oh no, they you were right! This, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing uh, did anybody a Super really Nintendo buy these? Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online uh, exclusive they, controller they as a special on? offer. Are they, to they charge it, you can use a USB cable just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. There's a CEO this Super Arba? NES style controller oh, these are 30 will be bucks? available for purchase but exclusively the NES for Nintendo 60? Switch mm, Online members. I don't members. know. Visit the Nintendo website I mean, for the yeah, latest 30 information bucks for one on controller? Release. That's nice. That's good. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Yeah, I guess well, the SNES Classic. Well, let's some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay, what's next, baby? Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Tetris? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Darn it. Can you survive against the best of the best? No, I've never won a game. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. What? By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! Oh, okay, I see you. We're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. What? Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. We still have to get two wave one. Share battle mode. Pass a joystick controller to a friend oh. or a two-player game against each other and the CPU. And get together with friends to battle via what? local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 tomorrow. will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month oh. individual membership Comes out will be available Friday. September 6th. Alrighty. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Hey, I may get this Mario and Sonic well. at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. These games are awesome. Check out these 10 retro style events. Yeah, this is cool. This Each is one cool. rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you I, think. I got it. Ahead of the full game's release next week, I got it. the free demo version Damon X Machina Prologue this is Demo will be a good available direct. for download like, what later the today. Heck? I had a freedom. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the Mario game. Sonic, I and didn't even write that on all of your progress <laughs> can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. Oh, a key feature of this demo is the co-op mode. mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, so gather your friends it, and make the bosses thanks. feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Online, be ready I'm by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? 
Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. That's next week. The Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Battlefront? Kyle Katarn, agent of the New uh, Republic, of is our <laughs> only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready. And my Battlefront name is the old one, not the new and one. Prepare to wield the full power of the Force. If that makes any sense. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch That's September 24th. That's a Tuesday, three weeks from now. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Is it real? My journey begins. Oh, which are three? Of Rivia, Mercenary Monster Slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. I hope the volume is okay. I hope it hasn't too bad. At home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. I cannot wait to see how this game works on Switch. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Right. Then transform into the ultimate Assassin's, Assassin's Creed? Country, Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action that means oh, one that probably needs a Pikmin game. It's probably going to be annoying. Like maybe not. Maybe that would just be weird. Gage, dumb man. Get out of here. The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG, Dauntless. Dauntless? Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, right. you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear oh, options, no. and team up with other Slayers to take down oh, boss-sized yeah. behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. Damn. And there's plenty Damn. more on the horizon. <laughs> Calendar. More games are on the way. Really? Oh shoot, it's like it's an actual scissor reel. Alrighty. Give us GTA 5 already. I want it. It's cross point. Weird auto sport of racing game? Okay. Farming simulator? <laughs> Game on here. Nino Cooney, Breath of the White Witch. Alrighty. NBA 2K20. That comes out Friday as well. Wonder what the one big. Th I don't even think there's gonna be Call of Duty. I don't even think there's gonna be officially one more thing. Like the Outer World. I remember that. It's not even a race, it's just coming soon. Devil May Cry 2? Vampire? Such a spell with a PYR? How's everything going? What time is it? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. What? We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. I didn't announced. even put Animal Crossing on my list as well. Did I put, I put FNAF? Music. I like the music. Welcome to Iron Man. If only this game came out this year, I want to play this. Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove Bill? of Deserted oh, Island life. Got the scoop better be in here. It may be a here. deserted mm. island, but the resident services the building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's though. nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select Tent -tent. the spot where you'd like it set up. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's a oh, pun or not, and there's but. something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Oh, Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials. 
like Minecraft? <laughs> I'm kidding. And stones. Whoa. Then we'll head to resident services crazy. and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. What are we even going for? And with those, minutes. Oh, okay. you can craft more items. So I guess we're going to end off with this. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine-tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part Some of our weeds. island cleanup <laughs> plan. Sure, I cannot In addition to the usual <laughs> in-game currency bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. Weed. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Time. Thanks to crafting, even we have bug on that tree. <laughs> a vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch, too. I don't think I'll be able to watch the banjo thing, maybe. Whoever smelt it, felt it. <laughs> Sociable types who live together on the same island so can play simultaneously. Ready. Up to four players at a time on one mm. system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. Oh, go away. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another oh. player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? Good God. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly is just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So Good many God. activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nooking Deserted Island Getaway Package. Ah, oh, this is going to be a nice game, trust me. Yep, that release date's the same. March 20th. So, how'd it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. What? There's a last game? What's the last? Bayonetta 3, maybe? Mario Odyssey 2? Breath of the Wild? No. This is Xenoblade Chronicles? Wait. Yeah, this is Xenoblade Chronicles. What the frick? The first one. Remastered? Remade? Mediocre? Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Remember Trenton Hughes? He likes this game. Uh, definitive edition, alright.
with these reaction videos, oh, 2020. With these reaction videos, I don't cut out stuff like that, so. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, That's the which originally on, released man. in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn yeah. on Nintendo yeah, Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Wait, is this the banjo thing or is that a separate video? Because I'm... Oh, I'm staying for banjo. So this is where the direct video ends and it's starting. Okay. Hello everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. This is like the Hero demonstration. You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero showcase. Really? It's only been a month since Hero came out. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. So what? This was now recorded two days, so this was recorded on August 2nd. Take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself using two controllers. You got a friend? Like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shields. So in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Oh, that's why he has two controllers. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie. Two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. So, what is Banjo-Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo-Kazooie was released, and then Banjo-Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. Are they going to reference Nuts and Bolts? And then there's Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. <laughs> As some of you may know, the Banjo-Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. But we got it back. <laughs> Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Yeah, Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie yeah, to join the Super the Smash Brothers series. Head of Xbox said it was the easiest deal for that, life. I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. Maybe they could supply you with the render? <clears throat> so, if no. you want to play Banjo and Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. Ah, darn it. <laughs> I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> you hear him? Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo-Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Yeah, Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of really? effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Camera things. We're going up here now. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Oh, I love okay. this. Let's take a look at the fight. Demonstration no. characters. This is, this is just too good. Banjo and Kazooie! So, this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. The Banjo and Kazooie. Off, off. Taunts! We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. <laughs> We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. Dude, look at the background! For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. With a dash, and it's not like a... their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Their neutral attack is called claw swipes. This ability looks similar.